Welcome to the Rewire Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Stuman, and I'm here to rewire your mind for success. We're glad that you're here. All right, we all got that wild friend. You know, like the, the one that's like, a, what do you call it, the wild card? You never know what this guy's going to do. You know, like the, the dude that had Carlos, the baby from the hangover. We got that one wild person. And then as we mature and that person doesn't mature, we, get, we can't invite them to certain things, right? As we, we move up as entrepreneurs, we move up in society, our, friend, our fun friend Barry, and I don't have a, you know, we'll just use that. Our fun friend Barry, he can't go and meet with the CEOs of the company that I'm now doing business with because Barry tends to drink and do and say very obnoxious stuff, which was hilarious in, in times of immaturity, but not good to hang around in maturity. So what you gotta understand is if you're that guy, if you're Barry, I'm about to give you some of the best advice you can get. I used to be Barry. I used to be the guy that drank and smoked, did drugs, it's a good time, but you couldn't bring me around your parents. You couldn't bring me around, you know, your boss. You couldn't put me around real estate investors and stuff like that because I was, I was fucking chaos. And you know what? I'm still a good time. I'm still a lot of fun. Whether I'm drinking or not, whether I'm drugging or not, I'm still a lot of fun. But I've learned to have, and this is for you berries of the world out there, I've learned to have what's called predictable chaos. You see, if you're chaotic, you're oftentimes interesting and fun. Like people want to go out with you because there's chaos, there's things going on. But there's a fine line between chaos and shit show, right? I know a person that uh, has gotten punched in the face twice in the last six months in public by two different people. (laughs) <laughs> one male and one female like I cannot have that person anywhere around me because they're unpredictable fucking chaos it's a shit show okay nice person to me never had a problem with this person but it is a unpredictable shit show that I do not want in my life I'm just using this as an example now meanwhile Amy and I we are predictable chaos and this is for you Barry see when you are somebody who's fun loving but predictable chaos, like somebody will say, hey, Ryan may cuss a little bit, but he's not going to get drunk and get out of line. You know, Ryan, he may say some inappropriate stuff that's funny, but he's not going to pass out drunk or cuss somebody out or get in a fight here, right? You got to be that predictable. There's a fine line between being entertainment, being the fun person, being the cool person, but having that predictable, controllable chaos. And now that also matters in every other area of your life too, but that's not for this episode. So how do you become predictable chaos? Maybe you have a few less drinks, Barry, right? Or maybe you stick to one drug or the other, right? Or maybe you don't mix shit like alcohol and drugs. Or maybe you don't mix shit like alcohol and weed. I remember when I used to drink and smoke as a young man, I would say that was called the egg beater effect, right? Because you drink alcohol and you start spinning one way and you smoke a joint, you start spinning the other way. And the next thing you know, you got this whole egg beater effect going on inside your head. This shit's not, this shit's not made for the weak. You know what I mean? Like a lot of motherfuckers be having a good time drinking and they hit a joint or a vape from somebody or whatever and they would just be passed out shit show in the back. That is not predictable chaos, right? I did an episode of Rewire called Responsible Drinking. I'm not sure what episode number it is, but you should go uh, look it up here and you can probably Google search Rewire Ryan Stuman Responsible Drink Responsibly and it'll come up and it tells you what I consider drinking responsibly is, right? All these places tell you this stuff, but nobody lines it out. But if you'll follow those drink responsibly instructions and, and, and tone down your use of outside sub- substances, then you'll start getting in those circles because nothing's worse than being a berry and watching your friend hang out with cool people and go do amazing things and them not inviting you and then maybe even inviting someone else from your circle and then have to leave you behind because you're an unpredictable shit show. Learn how to become predictable chaos and go listen to that Drink Responsibly podcast. Rise above.